Elliot Davis may be retired, but Fox 2 remains committed to spotlighting questionable government spending and holding officials accountable. Tonight, a school district that's been trimming its budget in recent years now leaves some parents asking for more. Administrators in the Fox C6 school district got a raise heading into the new school year. Fox 2 investigator Chad Mira heard from parents about how they want that money spent elsewhere, and that is tonight's You Paid For It. Some kids here at Fox C6 can't get a bus route and their walk to school takes them along this busy four lane road and across it as well. Parents say money can be spent to help address the issue. Busy streets and more than a mile of road. That would be Mariah Smith's 11 year old daughter's walk to Fox Middle School because she lives in a spot with no school bus to start the new year. And they sent us an email that they would provide after school care before and after uh, for an hour, which school ends at 2.05, that would land the after school care at 3.05, and I find that to be absolutely ridiculous and unreasonable. That doesn't fit into a parent's typical nine to five schedule. We are down uh, eight to 10 bus drivers at this point. Superintendent of Fox C6 Schools, Dr. Paul Frigo says more kids could get a bus route as the school year progresses. In mid-September, we added 29 more kids to the buses. Um, by looking at those routes, we look at them weekly. But the after school care for middle schoolers is a different story. I'll reach out to the building principal and discuss those individual needs with the principal to see if we can address the help and support them the way they need. At a board meeting earlier this year, the district approved a new pay scale for exempt employees. Assistant superintendents, principals, directors, and others, some of the district's highest paid positions. At minimum, these employees will get a 2.4% annual raise. Some are getting more than that this year just to bump them up to the lowest level on the new pay scale. Frigo's not on this scale, but he also got a raise. Though he says this isn't a money issue. We have money allocated to have enough bus drivers. It's just a, it's a staffing issue. And until that's resolved, Smith says she'll miss some work to make sure her daughter gets to and from school safely. I think that it's completely unfair, unreasonable, and unsafe for a school district who claims to be about kids' education and safety and well-being to expect them to just walk at such a young age uh, that amount of distance completely unsupervised and there's just nothing that we can do about it. We'll continue to keep an eye on the budget situation out here at Fox C6 because as a wise man once said, after all, you paid for it.